Frank, is it Frechera, uh, ask about about the volume of the tinnitus and if that makes a difference on whether or not you will be able to habituate. Um, first, I can only speak from my personal experience about my own volume level. So, I, I, unfortunately, I cannot um, comment on what it would be like to be you. <laughs> but I have some small examples that I can think of where I know that for example, David Letterman, uh, there's also a guy from The Who. What's his name? Uh, the band The Who. Uh, they both have pretty extreme cases, and they did habituate as well. Um, I know David Letterman has two different sounds at the same time. And then, uh, I can't remember the guys from The Who, it doesn't matter. I know who he is, but I forgot. Um, he, his tonight is pretty loud. And there's some people, they've had it all their life, and it was pretty loud. Um, I have to keep going back to the idea that loudness is perception also. Um, like, I assume you're able to hear me speaking pretty clearly. So I would, ex I would, ex I would expect that it's not so loud that you can't hear me. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so, the perception is really key here because we have to go back to the physical process involved in us hearing that sound. We have nerves that our ears uh, feel changes in pressure, and that in turn, in the brain, turns the uh, those vibrations into our perception of what we think of as sound. So it's a nerve function. And uh, our brain can prioritize which nerves it's going to pay attention to. <laughs> as I was saying in my last video, uh, I've got a problem with my toe and the, basically the joint's not going to bend like it did before because the bone got bigger. And when I walk, I feel it. And uh, it's because I danced for many, many years. And uh, I still want to continue to dance. But I, how painful is it? It's the same question, you know. Um, there's different levels of pain. There's different levels of the way we perceive sound in tinnitus. And... Um, so we have to find ways to deprioritize de that sound, that pain, and prioritize things that are more important to us. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but I cannot be you, uh, unfortunately. Um, you might be really cool. <laughs> I think you probably are. So, but you need to realize that. You, you're, you've got a lot going for you. And uh, those things that are going for you want to focus on that. And you have so much more you can do in your life. So focus on that. And, you know, I'll, go, I'll, I'll, I'll take one more idea here. Um, not thinking about something. How do you not think about something? Don't think about the pain in the toe. Don't think about the sound in the ear. So th those statements are definitely not going to produce the result that you want. So you have to schedule it, decide on you're going to be involved in doing the following things. This, 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 this throughout your day. You know, in the morning you're going to wake up and you're going to start off strong with something. I don't know. Maybe it's exercise. Maybe it's the Tony Robbins morning ritual. You're going to have a nice lunch. Maybe you'll make lunch today. Uh, maybe you'll go to a nice place. And then in the afternoon, I don't know, maybe you have some work to do. And you need, you're going to get that done and you're going to do a great job doing it. Maybe do it in a better way than you've done it before. <laughs> and then uh, you've got some friends you need to go see. Uh, to talk to, call on. Um, I don't know what you do in your day. But, you know, get, get busy doing that. And really 
that's how you don't think about it because you're so busy doing other things so you've got to really make it a priority to, to get involved in doing those things that, that help you um, that help you move forward in your life and uh, you'll start to deprioritize the tinnitus and your brain will also just forget about it more um, and that's that's all I, I can I can think to say uh, I don't know again about your volume but I do think a large part of your perception of the loudness is 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 the culprit you know so you can change your perception you can deprioritize the tinnitus because you're busy thinking about other things and your brain can go so far as to tune it out uh, entirely at times as you know as William Shatner said you know it'll still be there but you you just won't notice it and, and you can get to that point 100% even if it's loud uh, not maybe not 24-7 but you, you can get to where you can do a lot of stuff uh, and it'll get better and better and you can get better at this skill okay so good luck Frank mm-hmm.